Took longer than expected, but as of tonight, all of the residents and staff at Southeast Texas nursing homes should have been tested for COVID-19. The governor wanted it done by Monday. 12 News investigator Lauren Hensley is live to explain what happens next. Lauren? Jordan, in our region, those tests should wrap up today, but the state as a whole, well, it's got some work to do. As a state rep says, only 59% of the entire state has tested those nursing homes and staff members. The Southeast Texas Regional Advisory Council, public health departments, local fire departments, and other state agencies have all been tasked with this testing. According to SETRAC in the Golden Triangle, there's 23 facilities that needed assistance from those agencies to get the job done. The agency says that equates to 2,900 residents and staff. Though residents and staff have the right to refuse the test, SETRAC says they really haven't seen anyone turn the testing down. All of the facilities have been very cooperative. Um, the local public health departments, uh, specifically uh, Hardin and Orange counties, got with the facilities and they got testing done very quickly. Uh, a lot of the facilities in Jefferson County relied on private partners, um, but they have been very cooperative. The state is releasing testing results as they come in based on public health region. So if you take a look at your screen, we are located in the region 65S. There are 16 counties in that region, also including Harris County. So in that region, 86 nursing homes have positive cases, 87 rather, and there are a total of 875 positive cases, 123 deaths, and so far, 247 recoveries. Now, on average, the test results are coming back between five and seven days. The results are then sent to the nursing home as well as the state. The state will continue to provide data based on region, but they will not list individual facilities. Lauren Hensley, 12 News Investigates.